All right, so with cases on the rise across this country once again, here's how the president responded when asked about changing mask guidance. We follow the science. What's happening now is all the major scientific operations in this country and the 25-person group we put together are looking at all the possibilities of what's happening now. We have a pandemic among the non-vaccinated, those who are not vaccinated. All right, let's bring in NBC News medical contributor Dr. Kavita Patel uh, joining us now. Dr. Patel, good to see you this morning. Um, thanks for joining us on this. So you heard the president there. We're going to follow the science, right? And then going on to say that this is a pandemic happening amongst vaccinated folks. But listen, just listening to Antonia, folks that have gotten both shots now are having some of those breakthrough infections. Pretty concerning across the board. First and foremost, I think one of the major questions is, do you wear a mask or not if you are vaccinated? Where are you personally on this? And what's the official guidance at this moment? Yeah, great to see you, Yasna. I'm supporting the uh, United States in my blue and white as well. So just but on a more serious note, you're right. This is something that I think the president has had to be very clear that he follows the science. But look, he's not blind to what Antonia and others are seeing around the country. Personally, I have always consistently worn a mask indoors in settings that are not familiar to me, restaurants, retail, where I don't know if other people are vaccinated or not. That was because I'm an incredibly cautious person and I'm right. a healthcare worker. But I will say that the evidence is also now growing that if you are in a place that's congested, even in as Massachusetts is highly vaccinated, this is just a more infectious virus and variant. And it would be wise to wear a mask, even if you are vaccinated. So there's also this idea of a booster shot that we've been talking about for the last um, couple of weeks, right? And one of the theories that were, was put out there was that scientists had to look at how many breakthrough infections were actually happening as to whether or not right. folks that were fully vaccinated need those booster shots. Are we seeing enough breakthrough cases at this point to make the case for a booster shot uh, in the coming months, especially with this highly contagious Delta variant? Yeah, great question. So we have not, based on the data we have in the United States, but up until May, we were monitoring all breakthrough infections starting in May, only the ones that were hospitalized or led to death. Out of 100 million shots up and through kind of the May time period before the Delta variant, we had a little over 12,000 breakthrough infections. Incredibly rare. We still think that death and hospitalization is incredibly rare. We know that that's incredibly rare with vaccinations. But Yasmin, you're pointing to a blind spot. So the booster shot, the CDC advisory committee was discussing it yesterday, and they're really hoping that the federal regulators can help pave the way mm. to allow for booster shots for select populations, especially. Dr. Patel, thank you, as always. Great to see you this morning. Hey, NBC News viewers. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.